In today's challenge, we need to merge two tables by taking the maximum marks of each subject. The result should be sorted by student and the columns should be aligned alphabetically. As you can see, the students and subjects in both tables have their differences. First, we need to import the data into Power Query. To do this, let's format them as tables using the Ctrl T shortcut. Name them Table 1 and Table 2 accordingly. Now import the first table into Power Query Editor using the From Table Range button on the Data tab. Actually, we can combine both tables right now in the source step with one simple trick. Just copy the code from the formula bar, enter an ampersand symbol, paste that code and change the table name to Table 2. Press Enter. Now we have both tables combined and can proceed to the next step. The fastest way to effectively work with tables in Power Query is to normalize them. Here we can unpivot the subject's column. Select the student column and press Unpivot columns, Unpivot other columns. We can enter more meaningful names for our new columns right here in the formula bar. Now it's time to get the maximum values only. To achieve this, we can use Group by feature. Select the first two columns, click Group by and set the aggregation to maximum values. Ok, now we have all the data we need and we just need to align it properly. The subjects should be placed horizontally as column names. In these situations, we can use pivot feature. Select the subject column and click pivot column in the transform tab. Change the values column to max value and press OK. Almost done. But we need to sort our subjects alphabetically. This is where the list sort function can help us. Just add it in the formula bar where your subjects list is. Neat. This sort of task is pretty common. And now you know how to handle it effectively. Thanks for watching. See ya.